My name is Farooq Hijaz, and I'm the author of Room Request Dispatcher, which is also known as VRD. In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate the use of VRD using NetBeans IDE 6.5. Let's create a new web project. Set the project name as Test App. Click Next. From the server list, select Apache Tomcat if it is not already selected. Click Next. From the framework list, choose Room Request Dispatcher. Leave all the settings as it is. Click Finish. Here is the project. You can see now there is a file named vrt-config.xml under Web in a folder. You can also find this file under Configuration Files. As from the name, it is clear that VRD or Vroom Request Dispatcher is a request dispatcher. But unlike traditional request dispatchers, VRD not only for can forward requests to a different web page or a servlet, but it can also redirect to any valid URL. Furthermore, it can also invoke Java methods. In this tutorial, I'll only show you how we can forward or redirect to a different web page or servlet. And for that, I need at least two web pages. Index.jsp is already there, so let's create another JSP. Right click on the project, select New, Other, Web, and under Web Category, select JSP, click Next, set the name of the JSP file as Welcome, and click Finish. Edit the contents of welcome.jsp to make it different than index.jsp since both JSP files are generated by the wizard and they both have the same contents. Save all the files and run the application. The browser opens index.jsp. Let's go back to the NetBeans IDE and edit vrd-config.xml file. To edit the vrd configuration file, just double click on vrd-config.xml file. Inside vrd-config tag, add a request tag. Set the value of pattern attribute as slash type slash index.jsp. Close the tag. The reason to put slash pipe in the beginning of slash index.jsp is that index.jsp is opened by default when the application is accessed with application context. For VRD, slash and its slash index.jsp are two different resources. So I need to make the request to work with both of them using the regular expression. Add response tag inside this request tag and set slash welcome.jsp as the value of URL attribute and close the tag. Save all the files, go to the browser and refresh the browser window. This time the browser displays the content of welcome.jsp and it is done by VRD because of the request definition I just added in VRD configuration file. Now, I will show you how we can make a response redirect using VRD. Let's edit VRD configuration file again and place a request tag. You can add it before or after the previous request tag. In both cases, it has the same effect, unless the value of pattern attribute is the same. In that case, FIFO or first in first out logic will be followed by VRD. Set welcome.jsp is the value of pattern attribute. Add response tag. Set http colon slash slash www.netbeans.org as the value of URL attribute and add another attribute called redirect and set the value to be true. Close the tag, save all the files, go to the browser window and refresh the window. Surprisingly, the browser displays NetBeans homepage. This is also done by VRD because of the second request definition we just added. 
Now I'll show you how we can redirect to any other web page or servlet which is part of the same web application. Let's create another JSP. Right click on the project, click new, JSP, set the JSP file name as by, by and click finish. Edit the contents of byby.jsp to display the message by by. Go to the BRD configuration file and replace the NetBeans homepage URL with slash by by dot jsp. Save all the files and run the application. Oops, the browser couldn't display byby.jsp. The reason for this exception is the browser is looking for byby.jsp without the application context path. You see the URL in the browser address bar. To fix this problem, let's go back to the NetBeans IDE. Edit the VRD configuration file and before slash byby.jsp add a variable named context path within braces prefixed with a hash sign. This variable is recognized by VRD and at runtime it is replaced by the application context path. Save the file and run the application. Bingo! The browser successfully displayed the byby.jsp. Just observe the browser address bar. It has a response redirected to byby.jsp. In the next part of this tutorial, I will show you how to invoke Java methods using VRD. Thank you for watching.